Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got some exciting news about a new project. It's uh, actually what I traded the Edsel for and got some even better news about what we're about to do with it. This car needs to run and drive and make it to Arizona in two months. I know what you're thinking. How hard can it be to get a car ready to go on a road trip in two months? But let me give you the tour. There's just a couple things missing under here. Just a few things missing in here. I don't think that's where the fuel tank is supposed to be. But the suspension is dialed in. We have four by four blocks of wood. We may have our work cut out for us, but we have done worse. The first real challenge of this project is gonna be getting the suspension working. We're going to run air ride. All right, so we got the inner fenders back in. We're just checking for fitment. We have tons of room. And that's with the control arm bottomed out. Here is the official timestamp for this video. Saturday, August 5th, 2023. Okay, so I have the car sitting where I want it. And so what I've done is I've taken a tape measure, gone up through the hole here, right up to the top of the spring perch, and I got a measurement of seven inches. And with my bag collapsed, I have three inches for the bag. So that means I need to make a pedestal for the bag to sit on. It's going to fit up inside the coil pocket of four inches. All right, for the control arm, I have traced out the piece I need to cut. And then once we get it cut, I'm going to clean this up and weld it in. And then once I know where we need to drill the hole for the bottom bolt of the airbag, which is right here. Single mounting hole. We'll pop that through the new piece that we just traced out and cut and bolt that in. And then for the top, I have the circular plate cut out and the spacer. That's all going to get welded together. Some holes pop through for two bolts in the fitting. And then this cup. It actually fits perfectly up inside. Oh, it fell out. But it's the perfect diameter where it, it might be hard to see. It fits perfectly around these. So I'm not even gonna have to bolt it or weld it or do anything. It's just gonna sit up inside like the coil spring would. And the uh, weight of the car will keep it in. And then the airline will come out and through the old shock hole 
up here. You guys can't see that, but it's right here. Piece is fitted, about to be welded. Here's our air spring. Now it's time to install it. That looks pretty good to me. And here are the rear airbags. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a cup to here that fits inside here. And then again, the weight of the car will hold it up in place, just like that. I've got the old spring purchase cut off. Now I'm gonna clean up the surface and get ready to mount the new uh, airbag purchase. All right, we have the new perches welded to the axle and we have the retaining cups welded up top. Yes, those are used bearing races, but they fit perfectly inside those cups. All right, I got the airline mocked up. That's not how it's gonna be left, just to let you guys know. This is just for testing purposes. We're gonna set the car down see how it uh, does with the uh, locating rings and uh, air it up and down, see how it looks. Okay, now that we got all four air springs doing what we want, we're going to uh, step away from the air ride, although we're only halfway done. I do have an airlift air management system to install, but that'll be uh, another weekend. Right now, as you can see by the window in the back seat, none of the windows work. So my goal for the rest of today seeing as it's raining out now, is to get all four windows working so we can keep the water out of the car. And then maybe if I have enough time, we'll start removing that center console. And uh, we'll go from there. I found the detent for the door. It was jammed up inside here. I'm gonna go ahead, straighten that out and get it reinstalled. All right, guys, slid back through the door. So from the factory, this would have had like a rivet almost. So what I'm gonna do is actually use a rivet to hold it. I'm just going to pull the rivet through until it snugs. I'm not gonna break it off. Then I'll remove the gun and just cut that off flush. And then that should allow it to pivot and uh, work almost as factory. All right, so as you can see, the rivet is just snug. It's gonna allow everything to pivot like it should. All it needs to do is just stop the door from flying open like that. It's just gonna go get the cutoff wheel, snip that off, and that's reinstalled.
Before we reinstall this back window, I'm gonna take some triple zero steel wool and some glass cleaner to it and get it cleaned up. The nice thing with the triple zero is you can use it on everything. It's not gonna hurt the stainless and it's gonna get all the dirt and grime off the glass. Well, after some fiddling around and getting it adjusted just right, I actually can't believe how nice that all lines up. The back window's working. Still have to take the front window apart, but I was able to help the window up. I just wanted to uh, get the back windows up right now. I'm going to uh, go tackle the other side. What a, what a big difference that uh, clean glass makes. So we're gonna tackle the other side. Uh, Half of the guts are out on the floor over there for this one, but is still installed in here. So we're gonna see if we can make it look as good as the other side. Let me correct myself on an earlier statement. I'm using quad zero, not triple zero. I don't think triple zero would hurt it, but you wanna use quad zero. It's a finer steel wool. That's better. Some quad steel wool, bit of elbow grease, some glass cleaner. And she looks brand new. We have the passenger side done too. For the front window, I had to drop this one down. This allows the window to pivot because I found the front corner was too high in the back corner was too low. So by dropping that down, it allowed it to pivot. I adjusted the stop here. Now that window fits square. Then back in here, this one needed a lot of adjustment. Had to adjust the corner support up. And then uh, I had to actually take a little material out to get this one to sit far enough down to make the window sit right. And we had to put a washer underneath here to get that to work right. Now the window works properly. All the way down. all the way up. They actually all line up really well. I'm very impressed. Well, that's gonna do it for this weekend of working on the 59 Dodge. I got all four air springs in and functioning, which is awesome. The car goes up and down. And uh, as you can tell, I'm actually pretty excited about that. Uh, we got all but the driver's window working perfectly. I'm gonna have to come back to that for that stripped gear, but I just don't have time today. Uh, it's getting on in the weekend. I gotta clean up. Uh, next week, we're gonna get the other car here, get the engine out of it. Then, once we get the motor set in place, we can go ahead and install the air management system. I want the motor in place before we install that. Then the trunk will start to get empty and we'll have room. I wanna set that up in the trunk. But uh, we're making good progress. Uh, I got more done this weekend than I thought I would, which is awesome. I didn't think I'd get a chance to get to the windows. So that's great. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, uh, please consider giving me a subscribe and uh, have a good one.